There's so many apps out there that say that they have AI editing capabilities and let AI edit your videos from scratch. And most of them are pretty shit. Most of them are just gimmicks. Most of them are template based or in terms of AI editing, it will be for repurposing a long form piece of content to shorter clips, but not actually editing your video down. But this is where after testing so many of these AI editing tools. Descript is the one that we use for all of our content creation and this has really changed the game for us massively. So no, this video is not sponsored. We have partnered with Descript in the past and that's because it is an amazing tool and I'm gonna geek out even further with you, but this video is not sponsored. They don't even know that I'm making it. But Descript is the tool that we're using for all of our YouTube content. I record directly into Descript. We edit entirely in Descript with no other tools, no other programs. And this is coming from us previously using DaVinci Resolve, using Final Cut before that, Adobe Premiere, and years ago, Avid even. So as someone who is and has been a professional video editor for a long time, I absolutely love that we've now got tools like Descript that make the whole making videos thing so much easier and so much more accessible. And the AI functionality it has in it is really at the core of what makes this so powerful. So even if you're thinking at this point, but Justin, DaVinci Resolve has AI capabilities, Adobe Premiere has AI capabilities, none of them are actually at the level as Descript for actually editing your video down and doing it in a way which is useful and is gonna give you a good result. But the real paradigm shift with editing in Descript is its AI assistant editor, which they call the Underlord. That's really where the magic happens. And it really is like having your own personal video editing assistant where you can just give it instructions and it's actually gonna perform a really good job. And again, I know that there's so many tools out there that now say they have an AI assistant, a chat bot, but again, none of them compare to what is in Descript and I'm gonna talk about why. So it all starts off in Descript when you first import your video files or you record directly in again, like we do, where it's gonna automatically use AI to transcribe your video. That's step one. That is done automatically without you needing to do anything. So first off in that regard of video editing, you're editing from a text document if you'd like to. You still have your timeline and can edit from there as well. But really the way that we use it now, we're not even needing to use those things. It's done automatically with the AI. But because it's got that transcript straight off, you can easily do things like remove the filler words, ums, ahs, sos. You can close gaps. So remove all the pauses, all of that stuff as well. There's even a feature to remove bad takes. And yes, again, Resolve, Premiere, they got some of this stuff as well. But again, it works nowhere near as good or reliable as it does in Descript. So even for that stuff alone, it's a big step up. But what the AI assistant editor, the underlord lets you do is give it so much more context on how to use those tools. So it's not just remove filler words or just checking from a checkbox which filler words you want to remove. You can give it context to that and say only remove the filler words where they are clearly filling a gap, where they are not needed in the context of a specific sentence. So the AI then has to analyze each sentence and not just do a find and replace, find the word um and replace it with nothing and close that gap, which is how most of the tools work. This is actually looking at the context and saying, okay, the word so actually works as the start of this sentence. So I'm not gonna remove that word so. And that works really well, especially for someone who starts a lot of sentences with the word so, or the way that we're creating and shooting our content. So we've gone through and we've built out this prompt, which is step-by-step step what I want the AI to do, which is exactly the process that our actual video editor follows to edit our videos. The AI is now able to get 95 to 98% accuracy on a base edit just in a few minutes by running that prompt. So that is removing all those filler words, that's removing the gaps and silences, but it's also removing all the bad takes and not just what it thinks is the bad take. I'm explaining to it what a bad take actually looks like. Again, it's that context piece where it's able to look at an idea or a topic in a section of a video and then look at if I've repeated that further down because I might do a couple of takes presenting a sentence, a paragraph, or a thought, or an idea, but I'm not necessarily going to be using the exact same words. So that's where a lot of those remove bad takes pieces fall apart in most softwares because they're not looking at the context of what's actually been said, or the idea or the concept behind it. But you can also give instructions to not cut sentences in half and to only use the last take, the last sentence, the last paragraph, if that's the way that you've shot your videos, which is again, exactly how I shoot my videos. 
I will only move on when I'm happy with the last take. So I can give it that context and it does a very, very good job of abiding to those rules. Earlier this week, I actually shot a behind the scenes video where I'm editing down one of our YouTube videos using this prompt and showing off the context, showing off the examples in there of what I want it to do, what I don't want it to do. And I was able to get our video to 95, 98% done, just missing a couple of titles, just from running that prompt that took around five minutes to run. And I know five minutes in AI terms could be long. Descript does offer different AI models in there now, which is where this becomes becomes really powerful. But I love that you have the ability in Descript to switch between the different models. So if you're doing some things where you want AI, but you don't need the high token usage, deep thinking models, you can just switch to a faster model. But this Underlord can also be used as a sounding board for you as well. So if you're not actually sure how you want to edit, you want some creative ideas or inspiration, you can ask it. What should I do with this video? Suggest some edits to me, but I want it to be high engaged. I want it to be fast paced. What do you suggest? And then you can even have the AI go and find stock B-roll for you, or there's now image and video generation built into Descript as well. So under your guidance or your instruction, just go and fix this for me, it can actually go and add all of those things directly into your editing project and your editing timeline for you without any extra work from you. So it really has the ability to be a creative assistant for you as well. And yes, it does still have those other tools as well, where if you've got a long form piece of content and you wanna create some short viral clips from it, it's got that and it is really good. I'd say my top two apps for that are Opus Clip and Descript and Descript is the one that we use for all of our shorts repurposing and the results are really good. But in terms of other AI features that we use in our workflow, Studio Sound is another one where it will polish up your audio, remove background noise, remove echo, make it sound like you're using a more professional microphone and studio setup than you might have been at the time of recording. Again, this is a little toggle to turn that on and you can adjust the intensity of it and it works so well. And that's another example of you don't need to be a professional to create good looking stuff and good sounding stuff in this case. So for those of you that are more professional looking at this and thinking it is a toy, I mean, that's exactly what I did coming from these other tools and I really didn't take it seriously until I really stopped and took a step back and said, what am I trying to achieve here? What is the best way to do it? But also where am I holding myself back with having the knowledge of these pro tools? Is that actually of benefit to me in this moment? Is the viewer gonna be able to watch your video and say, oh, I can't watch this. The EQ is not set to this specific level or this wasn't edited in DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut. No, they're not gonna know. They're watching probably free stuff on YouTube, in which case the power for you is not spending the hours learning all of that stuff. It's getting your message out there. And this is gonna allow you to do that really, really easily. So it's almost like a role shift or an identity shift here for you now not needing to be a video editor. You almost become a video director here where you're directing the AI assistant here to edit your videos for you. And that is such a powerful reframe and powerful switch especially now that the tools are this good to go and be able to deliver that for you. Now there's so many other AI tools and functionality built in here. I don't run a podcast, but if I did, I'd be using their recording capabilities. So I'm recording again directly into Descript. Again, 80, 20, how do we get the result with the least amount of work? But also it's got multi-camera editing capabilities where it will automatically switch between who's speaking in your podcast or interview. And it can automatically recenter and reframe your shots if you are repurposing them to different formats as well. So I really feel like Descript is the one that almost under promises yet over delivers where there's so many other BS AI tools out there that over promise and significantly under deliver when it comes to this. I feel like I'm having a rant in this video, but I'm so sick of seeing these tools like edit your videos in a few clicks and you try it and it's just crap. It is not what you want. It is no control from your side. It's essentially a template that's just dropping some clips in. And for most videos out there, that's just not gonna work. Now in regards to pricing, there's a few different options, starting at $16 a month for their hobbyist plan. Up from that is the creator plan. That's actually the one that we're on. And that's $24 a month billed annually. Now depending on which AI tools you're using, which AI models you're using and how many tokens you're burning through, there is an option to just top up the amount of tokens you have as well. 
or there's also a business plan which comes with more tokens too. Now, if you want to see the full behind the scenes walkthrough on me editing down one of our YouTube videos in Descript using our AI prompt and giving you access to the prompt as well, you can find a link to that in the description box below inside of Plus. I've also got some videos linked on screen to help you even further and geek out a little more on Descript. And as always, we've got a bunch of other resources in the description box below to help you as well. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.